Hello. Let's try to understand what is RF. RF is a short form of radio frequency. Frequency as we know in AC environment. And if you look at this table, we find say from 3 Hz to 30 Hz, we call it extra or extreme low frequency. Then from 30 Hz to 300 Hz, super low frequency and so on, so on. The radio frequency actually starts from 3 kilohertz onwards and there we call it very low frequency and then onwards it goes name like this. We call it low frequency and from 300 kilohertz to 3 megahertz we call it medium frequency and then from 3 megahertz to 30 megahertz we call it high frequency and so on as you see in this chart. And finally till about 300 gigahertz. It is extremely high frequency and this is how the radio frequency is covered in this spectrum. Interestingly, this is one range which is from 300 MHz to 3 GHz. There are certain frequencies, for example, say 315 and uh, 2.4 GHz. These are certain frequencies which are free frequencies for experimental purposes. Otherwise, all other frequencies in the radio frequency range are licensed band and uh, one is not free to use these kind of frequencies on each sweet wheel. The other important parameter that one has to bear in mind that the being high frequency in a conductor, if at all it has to flow in a conductor, it flows in the surface only, that is in the circumference. We call it skin effect. So one has to take care, supposing the lower frequency range here, you want to flow it through a wire and it goes in the surface. So for example, about say 20 kilohertz, 25 kilohertz and so, so on like this. The other beauty of these high frequencies is that since the supply changes its polarity very fast as compared to low frequency. Low frequency about 30 hertz to as we discussed till about um, 3 kilohertz is the low frequency. There you are likely to get a shock if there is a voltage of uh, appreciable value, you are likely to get a shock. But here since the frequency and the polarity changes at a very fast rate, the chances of getting a shock in such frequencies are very very low. So to summarize, though the name has been inherited from radio, the good old days of radio, of entertainment and uh, communication that we had, the name has been taken from there, though there is nothing related to radio or communication or the radio entertainment that we had in yesteryears. This is a typical RF module, very small, it's the, of the size of a maybe less than a coin. So you can imagine how this small is. This is the transmitting unit, four pins positive, negative and uh, then this also has four pins and uh, but at number of places they are made parallel. This is the receiving unit and they are not typically available at 315 MHz or 433 MHz. These are the two frequencies which these modules are available in the market so that people or the students can carry out some kind of experiment. The other RF module which is in the range of 2.4 GHz is the Zigbee module. This is also in the RF category as we had discussed this particular frequency between 300 MHz to 3 GHz and this being 2.4 GHz Zigbee module operates in that frequency. In this uh, transmitting unit we have four pins as we have discussed, one positive, negative and one is data in. It's a serial data which it takes. It takes only serial data and uh, normally these are interfaced from the microcontroller to some uh, serial uh, level shifter IC and uh, that is how the serial data reaches here and this is the antenna point. In the receiving end also one will be data in and positive, negative and antenna. Of course there, there are certain parallel points that we have discussed.